What is good everyone, welcome to the channel. A midweek video from me which is not very usual unless it's about sneakers, but it's not about sneakers tonight. It's actually about something that happened to me just now. And first of all I want to let you know that I didn't put a video out this past week. I normally put one out every week, but it didn't happen because I was in Nagano and I was filming basically my whole travel when I was there so I'm planning on doing a massive editing job this week and having that video up for you as of Friday US time as usual but today I was in Don Quixote and I've been to this Don Quixote a number of times if you don't know what Don Quixote is it's basically a variety store they've got supermarket goods they've got home goods they've got clothing they've got electronics it's just a massive store. Anyone who's been to Japan and has checked out Tokyo, Yokohama, Osaka, you know Don Quixote because it's just a fun store to shop in and they've got a little bit of everything and a lot of novelty goods as well. But this one has a game center and every time I've come into this game center, I mean the game center is actually in the entrance, you have to go through the game center to actually enter the Don Quixote. And I always noticed that it was really busy, like there were a lot of people always playing and going between the machines and, and spending money trying to get the, the gotcha games or the, uh, the claw games, the crane games, right? And I thought, well, if it's this popular, I wonder if people actually have a decent chance of winning. So I had a weird feeling that I might be lucky and so I walked around and I found a particular crane game that I thought looked like fun. I didn't film it because they had very, very clear signage that said no filming, no cameras, no smartphone, nothing. So I didn't pull anything out to film, I followed the rules. But basically, the claw was, you would send the claw into a basket of ping pong balls. And it would come out with a ping pong ball or not, and it would bring it back out and drop it into what is essentially a pan that is used to make takoyaki, or little taco uh, octopus balls and I'll, I'll edit a, a picture of a takoyaki pan up somewhere and if the ping pong ball lands in the center hole it's a win and you'll win a lucky bag which you have no idea what's inside of it if that ball has a tape on it there's a number un hidden underneath that tape and that gives you an additional prize so you get the lucky bag and whatever this additional prize is three plays for 500 yen and so I played, I put a thousand yen in so I had six plays and first of all every single play got me a ball at least so it never came out and dropped a ball and gave me no chance so that was good but I actually won <laughs> on the fifth pull and here it is my big lucky bag so big fuku which is um, fortune and bukuro which is bag 2022 summer gold fuku bukuro I was really tempted to try again because it was like you know that wasn't so hard maybe I should keep trying to luck out and I actually the ball that went in had the tape on it so I got an additional prize that tape number ended up corresponding with a little jar of Haribo, um, the gummy bears, which, okay, that's cool, but of course, I decided I wanted to film what was in the bag, I wanted to see what was in the bag first to see if it's really worthwhile spending any more money on that machine. If it seems like it is, I might just go back. So, let's see what I won! Jesus. Um, right. The first thing I see right immediately is some kind of character good. And Tiny Tan, Jean. And this is going to be it's apparently a Sega related character. I'm going to admit complete ignorance and show my ignorance of all things 
pop culture. <laughs> um, I have no idea who this character is. And it's definitely not something that I need. Let's hope it gets better. The next thing is a woven lunch tote, my neighbor Totoro. So that's kind of cute. So it's a echo bag that I can use for shopping or carry a, a lunch or picnic, something or other. Okay, that's maybe worth less than this thing, but it's better in my mind, something I can actually use. What else have we got in here? We've got, looks like, two more items. <laughs> we have, very timely in the Corona pandemic uh, timeline, we have a alcohol 75% alcohol shoulder group, like basically a pump of alcohol gel for sanitizing your hands or sanitizing whatever. 500 milliliters of alcohol gel. All right, so we have one more item in here. I'm, I'm looking right at it, and I have no idea what it is on site. So it's kind of heavy too. Where is this? I mean, at, at first glance, what, what is this? No idea what this is. Moketo. It's a storage box. Apparently this thing will expand into a storage box of some type. Okay. Between these items plus the bonus hardy bowl, so four items. I mean, I'm sure I got my money's worth of a thousand yen, but to be perfectly honest, Except for maybe this, because I do like gummy bears. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't play again, because none of this is anything I need in particular. So, um, all right. It's, it's like I won, but didn't really win. I mean, maybe I can find a use for this in my office or something. I have no use whatsoever for this. Um, I'm pretty much, you know, stocked up on this, so it wasn't like I needed any more anytime soon. Um, yay. I think the lure of that game was the fact that that lucky tape with the number underneath it, um, the top prize, you could win a Nintendo Switch, and it was like a special edition Nintendo Switch. That would be cool, but I have a hunch the odds of winning that are nearly impossible. It's probably a number that's buried in the, the barrel of ping pong balls somewhere. And so the odds of winning a Fukubukuro, you know, another one of these mystery bags, maybe isn't all that difficult, but for what you actually get in the bag itself, eh, I don't think I'm going to go back and play again. But at any rate, it was fun to play, and there was a lot of excitement leading up to opening this up. The first person who tells me what this is in the comments and is correct, um, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll send this to you. How's that sound? Thanks for watching this little midweek video, and I hope to see you watching and commenting on my Nagano trip. And that video will drop in on Friday, like Friday evening U.S. time. So see you then. Thanks for watching my lucky bag win, and I will catch you then. Peace.